Views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. From, from my home state, from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, There he is, the host of the Uncle Ducky show, Uncle Ducky. There he is. you to the show and thank you for tuning in oh anyway uh, uh, please allow me to introduce a man who deserves no introduction but's gonna get one anyway let's bring him thank out you, Uncle Ducky <laughs> hey. Oh. hey see this Fletcher that's Indiana Tech that's our downtown campus. The reason I'm wearing this is for the third semester in a row, my daughter is on the dean's list. Yay! Yay! Dan that Marie. is so Thank nice. you very much, Panzini, for that introduction. Now, yeah. what we got to do is we got to wake up Mr. McHenry. So all together on three, let's wake up Mr. McHenry. One, One two, two, three. three. Wake, wake up, up Mr. Mr. McHenry. McHenry. Mr. Oh. McHenry, boys and girls. Yay! Pass another show? Yes, another show. Oh, hey, uh, you know, now that I'm retired, um, I think it, I like to wake up in the morning and watch the sunrise. Yes. But, uh, hey, Ponzini, have you seen any sunrise in this show yet? No, I haven't, and there's something mysterious. I think Mercury is in retrograde, so it might be hidden behind one of the planets or something. Hey, hey, Cuckoo, tell, the time, tell us what time it is, and uh, I'll see what I can do about getting the sun to rise up. Okay, well, the time right now is 18 minutes after 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Cuckoo, boys and girls. No, actually, Yay! daylight savings time. I get confused. So I have set the clock for 18 minutes after 7. We're starting the show. So very good. Anything else, Cuckoo? No, nothing at this time. I'm quite cuckoo enough. Notice the sound effect came from 30 minutes after. Oh, it's the telephone, boys and girls. Ooh, Uncle Ducky will phone. answer the phone. Oh. Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello, Uncle Ducky. Oh, who is this? This is Betty Forrester. Oh, Betty Forrester. Uh oh Thank Hi. you for calling. Thank Oh, I'm so excited. I just, I can't even speak. I just wanted to let you know that, that all I, I, I want to um, tell you something that's very, I'm very, very proud of, that I just want all of us to smile. Oh. I just want to see everyone smile at each other, and uh, therefore, I made these delicious charity cookies. Oh, yeah. Now, keep in mind, they're charity cookies, so they're only $74 with tax and shipping. And, that, you know, that, that's for two dozen cookies. That's for 24 cookies. And I just love them. I love them so much. It just brings a smile to my face. $74. Does that, does that include shipping and uh, postage? Yes, shipping and handling. Doesn't it just make you smile? So that is included in the $74. $74 seems like a lot of money, uh, Not Betty for Forrester. they smiling cookies. They're delicious smiling cookies, and they'll make you smile. Isn't a smile priceless? $74 is a bit to pay for a smile. It sounds like those cookies are salty. Salty. See, there's a play on words, salty as in expensive. Ducky, what are you talking about salty? Yes. They're, they're okay. not salty. They make you smile. 
all the world can smile. Okay, and listen, doesn't money make everybody? Betty, oh, oh, excuse me, money make Betty, everybody. Betty, Betty, I, I have to get on with the show. Thank you for no, calling no, 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 in. No, 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 but okay, yes, I just okay. love these smiling cookies. They're so happy and joyous, and they just like, have little smiles well, on I each tell you one what, of them. Duck, you best smile, be hanging up on the woman. Smile, She's never going to shut up. Ring down the basket and we'll lose it. Okay, wait a second, Betty. Oh, Mr. Caulfield, boys and girls, let's give Mr. Caulfield a nice round of applause. And what is that, Mr. Caulfield, you said? I don't know. I just want you to keep going on with the show now in your usual fine manner. Okay, thank you. Uh, Betty's gone now. Oh, it's oh. Mrs. Claus, C-L-A-U-S-E. Say hello to Mr. McHenry. Hello, Mr. Hello, McHenry. Hello, Mr. Claus, C-L-A-U-S-E. Yeah, that's me. Mm, thank you, thank you. And everybody, this is a sad note right now. Uh, a friend of ours who was a cast member here on the Uncle Ducky Show uh, passed away uh, in the beginning of this year, 2015. And um, we miss him a lot. And uh, the last time we saw him was on in on the Christmas Dunko Ducky show. Yeah, it's on, that's Kip Lackey. And uh, I have a poem, if I may, to, in honor of him. So if I may, I'd like to read it. Oh, to Fort Wayne's beloved Santa Claus. He brought joy to many a girl and boy, gave laughter to the multitudes, Many had loved him truly. We will sorely miss our Kip Lackey. The only Santa I knew, he was a friend to many, and he taught our children to be compassionate, to share, and to hold each other dear. Goodbye, my friend. You are now in heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is with you now and forever. Amen. Rest in peace, Kip. Very nice, very nice, thank you. What's that, Mr. McHenry? That was very, very true. That was very nice. He time, but you got to remember all the joy that he brought to everybody yes. that he ever met. He, he put a smile on everybody's faces, including mine. Yes. And Norm, do we have a, um, a video clip of our last show with yes. uh, Kip? There it is. There we go. Thank you, Mrs. Claus. Uh, you and Hello? Yes. Oh, Frosty the Snowman, yes. Yes, I'm calling you from the North Pole today. Oh. Santa wanted me to come up here and look after the workshop while he was down there visiting you in Fort Wayne. Yes. And uh, we just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and all the crew there. And uh, I really have to go because uh, the delivery man has just arrived and uh, we're having ice burgers tonight. Oh. <laughs> Is everything going well out there? Everything's going well with the workshop there on the house? Everything is going well, yes. Perfect, perfect. Except for the union members. Ooh. We won't bring that up tonight. Hey, right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Frosty, for calling in. We appreciate that. Okay. Hey, there you go. Hey, 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 hey. It's Jody Extreme, boys hey. and girls. Okay. Oh. Hey, kids. No. <laughs> you have to plug it in. <laughs> little malfunction here. Santa. Here, here use that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kids, even though you're getting your EVAC games, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference at all. You need to help your parents. You need to get out there and you need to rake your leaves before it snows. That's more. That's a more healthy exercise than just sitting around playing the EVAC games. And no sweets. No Christmas sweets whatsoever. Nothing. You gotta stay healthy during the, the winter. It's cold. It's snowy. It's horrible outside. It's Jody, really windy. Jody, uh, not so what? extreme this time of year. It's the holiday season. Uh, a little indulgence would be okay during the holidays, wouldn't it? Wow. Hey, you know Trevor wanted to show us another book from the Allen County Library. Is that oh he's got it there with him? Oh, you're gonna just show that one. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Norm. He's known on our show as Ki uh, Chris Kringle. His actual name is K 
Kip Lackey, and we appreciate all the years. Four years he was on our show. Hey, Vicious hey, Venom, hey, how are you? How I'm are you? Right. Um, I'm, I'm, you look a little nervous, a little pensive. Well, I'm, I'm kind of intimidated by Judy Stream. Are, are, are you sure she's, she's not here right well, now? Well, let me call her, okay? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not too She'll much sure you. I don't like that. No. What's that, Ponzini? Not too much commotion. I don't like that. Right, but uh, he's nervous, so we need Jody Extreme to come out. And as I dial the number, no. oh, dialing the number, it's a rotary, <laughs> and she will answer the phone. <clears throat> Ask for collect call. Okay, collect. <clears throat> Hello, Jody. Hello, Hello, this is Jody Extreme. Yes, Jody. Would you like to come out? I think uh, Vicious Venom's a little pensive. And could you come out to reassure him that you are not an intimidating person? Come on out, Jody. Sure, I'll come out. No, no, no. I am not intimidating. You are me. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Yeah. Can I at least intro my clip? Is that okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Ducky, I wanted to come on your show tonight yes. so that I could intro our clip that we had for St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Uh, yes, when we went yes. out and interviewed people. Um, not me, but who else? Uh, Todd Allen. Oh, Todd, Todd Allen. Allen, yes, okay. St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Where did you go to? Uh, we went to um, J.K. O'Donnell's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Is Good. that okay? Your voice is project so much she doesn't even use need to use a microphone. <laughs> all right. Well, I thought that was me. All right. I guess the healthy thing to do is all right. Did I did I hurt your feelings? I'm fine for now. You're fine for now. For now. Should I apologize? Yeah. Okay. I'm really sorry. 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 Very sorry. Sure. Yes, absolutely sorry. Sorry in every extreme way I can be sorry. Okay. Boy, what a big scaredy cat. Yes. Hey, least. can we just roll the clip? Is that okay? Now, now. Todd Allen. Say hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Okay. And this is... Steve. Steve. All right, Steve. Where are we today? We're in the alley. Where are we actually in the alley behind? J.K. O'Donnell. Right. And what, what holiday are we celebrating? Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Exactly. Steve. What? Can you, can you tell me what this is? That's a piece of lettuce. Well, I yeah. had a lettuce. I had old lettuce. Yeah, technically had old lettuce, but let's pretend it's cabbage. Okay. Right? I had old cabbage lettuce. Perfect, because Todd Allen kind of messed up, but that's okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's cabbage. It is cabbage. Holy yeah. moly. We can edit that, and edit that, and edit that, and edit that part out. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you've got your beads on for yep. St. Patrick's Day. I'll hold the head up, cabbage. And I was just curious, Steve, what's your favorite Irish food? Oh, mashing, mashing sa sausage and mash. Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. That sounds Wait a minute, good. wait a minute. My wife's half Irish, so my wife's Irish stew. Perfect. The cabbage goes with the Irish stew. Yes, it does. Awesome. Good. Good. And it goes with, what else? It goes with? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Thank you very much, Jody. What's that, uh, Mr. McHenry? That was a great interview by Todd Allen. Yes. Oh, I hear the door, and let me open the door for young at heart farmer Dick Ewan. Yes, very good. Here's the mic. Yes. Uh, you had a video out here, and I, uh, do you still have that clip of the video of me jumping out of an airplane? I don't know. Norm, do we have a video of that clip? Yes. Thumbs up in the control room. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, that happened uh, in 2012 up in East Troy, Wisconsin. Okay. And uh, if the weather happens to be good on June 13th this year, we will have uh, about 20 people, uh, family and friends, jumping up there at the same time. 
as a kind of a celebration about my brother's 90th birthday and he's going to jump first that day. I, I told him I wanted to jump first and he said, no, I'm 90 and I'm going to jump first. So, so we're going to do that on the 19th, the weather permitting. Okay, Norm, run that video. Thank you very much. 90 years old and jumping out. Here we go. This is Farmer Dick Ewan. Here he goes. Very good, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Oh, wow. You just All right. Kept Appreciate you. Like that, even if I could be in the studio. Right, Mr. McHenry. That is quite a feat for an 86 year old person. Very good. Come on up. Hey, it's the insecurity guard, boys and girls. Hey, Yes. Um, is it okay if I come on? Of is course. Is it okay if I come on? Yes. Of course you can come on. You're always welcome. You're part of the cast of this show. Uh, we look forward to your visits from time to time. I haven't been on here in a while, so I don't know if I still Yes, we job. do. I haven't been on here in a while. Yeah, I don't know if I still have my job. Really like talking you to you, too. The clock's You're talking to you. You're a member of our family. We would never be mean to you. Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, right. Ponzini? Um, Ponzini? Oh, dear. Come here and let Ponzini give you a, a, a butterscotch. I know that'll make you feel better. Oh, wait a no. second. I ate them all. Sorry. <laughs> But are you are you are you, are you, are you guys sure I want to get you know I know he's the main yes. one in charge but oh, even yeah. though you're the insecurity guard you have to understand you're one of the cast members you're more than welcome and uh, never be feeling pensive about coming out there's somebody else that was on earlier I can't remember who was that Fish's Phantom but you don't know him though do you I've seen him around before I I would like to beat him one time yes so. Yeah. Okay. We're a very friendly group. Thanks, you actually are. We're very oh, friendly. So I'm, I'm, I'm here then. That's we right. Like you, you just need to lot. learn to assert yourself right, a you. little better. Uh, all right, I will. Okay. Don't be yes. so insecure sometimes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, it's Rachel, boys and girls. Hi. Hey. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so what's, uh, what are you here for today? Uh, I was going to bring you some cake, but oh. I have to go get it. It's not done yet. It's not done yet? Okay, yeah. well, bring it out. Yeah, and then, uh, whose birthday is it today, Rachel? Larry the Shark. Larry the Shark, Larry the shark. okay. Uh-oh. Thank you, everybody, for this wonderful door opening. Yay! Yay. Larry the shark. And we have a hint, and uh, we're a little bit ahead of ourselves. Frosty T, are you on the phone? Nope. Yes, I am, Ducky. Hi, Frosty T. Uh, I guess we've already shown, but uh, here's Frosty T's um, hint about whose birthday it is today. Yes, here is a video clip from a famous movie from way back in 1975. 1975. Uh-oh, there's Quint. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look, there's Larry. Oh, oh, oh. That was intense. Yeah. It's very intense. I felt oh, that. Was that. It. that was it. That was it. Yay! Yay! Good job, Larry. Why do you look so fat? Okay, so it's Larry's birthday. Now, <clears throat> Joe Jarnett was going to be Larry, but Joe, can you do a side shot? didn't fit into the outfit. So, uh, Joe, where did you find this shark? Actually, it was very funny. I was in the Maumee River. Maumee like River. All places. Yes. Cast my line out. Yes. I, it sat, it sat, it sat, and I reeled this in. 
Oh, did it get there? I will never know. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I was, I was in the creek looking for a two-headed carp. What a big catch. Yes. That was a big yes. catch. Thank you, thank you. So you're that voice? That is Larry the Shark. That's right. Let's all yes. sing happy birthday to Larry the Shark. Ready? Come here. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Larry. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Happy, happy birthday, Larry. Uh, but I tell you what, we're getting close. We've got uh, 20 minutes into the show, so we've got 10 minutes left. We've got to get things going here, Doug. Ducky. Yes. Okay. All right. Why don't you bring Cadence out, Jody, and we'll have our quiz. Another they go, dears. Right up to that okay. mic there, Cadence. Okay. All right. Excellent. And what are your questions? Okay, we got to turn around. You got to turn around, uh, Rachel. Okay. Okay. What is on the front of a quarter? Okay, Rachel, what is on the front of a quarter? I want to say Thomas Jefferson. She says, I want to say Thomas Jefferson. Is that correct, Norma, director? No, that's incorrect. It's George Washington, boys and girls. One of the presidents. Okay, what's on the back of the quarter? Such what's, what's that? What's the next question? What is on the back of a quarter? And what is on the back of a quarter? A state. <sighs> well, she's partially right, boys right. and girls. That would be a quarter. Right. It used to be just the uh, symbol of the United States, the uh, Amer great American bald eagle, but now they put states on there. So you are actually correct, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> okay. Now, what's the next one, Dick Cadence? Um, what is on the front of a dime? Okay, who's on the front of a dime? Rachel, quickly. Um, I have no idea. I she really has no idea, idea, and the answer is? One of the Roosevelt's. It is Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Denver. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Cindy Lowe knows her point. And we're running low on time, so let's get right to the penny and go ask the penny who's on the front. I don't know who's on the front of the, it's Abraham Lincoln. Okay, Ooh. and okay, Abraham Lincoln. I saw a fish on there. Very good, Norm. What's on the what's the picture on the back? Go ahead, and Katie. What is on the back of a penny? It's one of the buildings in Washington, D.C. One of the buildings. Does anyone know? It's the memorial for the guy in the front. Yeah. That's correct. It's the Lincoln Memorial. All right. Well, thank you very much, Katie, for being on the show. Very smart seven-year-old you got there. Yes. We are running long, so what we're going to do is have Mr. Lafferty come out, tell us four jokes, and then Tristan come out, and we'll probably be out of time. But this has been a lot of fun, don't you think, boys and girls? Here's the doorbell. Here comes Farmer Lafferty. That's right, you don't need that microphone. Figure that out. And then Mrs. Claus, boys and girls. Well, we'll see if you're smarter than the seventh group. Okay, year old. seventh What's year the difference old. between five and seven? Uh, two. Oh, you got it right. <laughs> I am shocked. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you call a cow that won't give any milk? Uh, I don't know. What do you call a cow that won't give any milk? I don't an, know. An utter failure. Utter <laughs> failure. <laughs> okay, and we'll just do one more. What is a dentist's favorite song? What is a dentist's favorite song? The Yanks are coming. Oh! The Yanks are coming. Hey. That's hilarious. Let's bring out, hey, is that the phone? Hello, Tristan. He's already out here. He's already out here. Sorry, we couldn't call the payphone. Okay. That is, is I forgot to have quarters. All right, so, Jeff. Would you like to tell the jokes that we done in the talent show, which we got third place on? Yes. 
So, uh, Jeff, it's the end of the school year. What do you like best about school? When it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff, you don't mean that. What kind of grades do you get? A's, B's? I get a variety of letters. <laughs> so, Jeff, what did you study in school? Well, let me guess. And they didn't have the dummies. <laughs> so, Jeff, what did you do in school today? A guessing game. Wait a sec, I thought you had a math test. That's right. <laughs> but I did get a hundred today. Really? What in? A 40 in spelling and a 60 in reading. <laughs> Jeff, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you like math? Ah, uh, no. Hey, Tristan, speaking of math, what did the math book say to the other? I don't know what. Don't bother me. I got my own problems. <laughs> oh, I got another one. What did the student say to his math worksheet? I don't know what. I'm not a therapist. Solve your own problem. <laughs> hey, okay, there you go. That was a one. Okay. All right. Mm. No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hey, we got time for books from the library. Yeah, Ducky, come oh, on. Yes. By the way, Tri he didn't mention he got third place in his talent contest in the school. Oh, and, but we're running yeah. late. Yeah. Yes, yes. What's that? Books. Oh, oh. Yes, Panzini. Oh, oh I'm tired. I had to run all the way across. What would be appropriate book to show on the show? Oh, how about one about sharks? Okay. Is a farmhand available? Yes, he's yes, he's in, trying to get in my butterscotch. Oh, the butterscotch. Here's a book. Can you zoom in on that, Norm? Oh. Oh yes, that's a book on sharks. We can learn about sharks and the dangers. Okay, thank you, uh, Trevor. Here's another book on sharks. Yes, and these are all books you can get at the downtown Allen yes, County well. Public Library or the 14 branch libraries if you want to do a, uh, a paper on sharks. Okay, very good, since it's Larry the Shark's birthday. Sorry, we're... Bruce Hefner, where the heck are you? I thought you were going to stick your head out Let's the door. Bring out Bruce, Bruce Hefner! Bruce Hefner! Very good, Bruce. Very good. One of the greatest Fort Wayne Comet fans and Blackhawk fans. And what are you here for tonight? We're going to look at a video. Short, oh, we are. Short video. Short. Very short, but there's a video of me dancing at the Comets game. So somebody, somebody captured you dancing at the Coliseum. And it was on uh, Facebook, and Norm has got that. Do, do you have that, that Norm? Video, I think the birthday, birthday boy. The birthday boy. Yes. yes. No. Oh, now they're going like this. Stretch it out. Stretch First of all, it was okay. five minutes. Cut, and now we're stretching it out. Tristan, come back. You're gonna do the rest of your jokes. All right. Well, Show that, Larry. I mean, Norm. Do you know something else? Yes, cuckoo. Since you talked about sharks, okay, you know why really sharks really don't really bite okay, lawyers? Really weird. Right Professional now. courtesy. Don't bite lawyers. You hear cuckoo? Okay, here's here's the here's the tape. Let's watch this. First of all. This is actually Bruce Hefner at the Memorial Coliseum at the hockey game. What are all these people? Very good! He's going to finish his bit because we had more time than we thought. Sorry about that, guys. So anyway, Jeff, where were we? Okay, here we go. Hey, Tristan. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dewey. Dewey who? Do we have to go to school tomorrow? <laughs> well, why wouldn't you? Well, my teacher yelled at me for something I didn't do, which was my homework. Oh! <laughs> Jeff, did you learn anything in school today? Obviously not enough, because we have to go back again tomorrow. Oh. And that's good. Thank, thank you so much. Yay! Thank you very much. Before we leave, before we leave, yes. I want to thank everybody who contributed to the Great American Cleanup. Thank you. Thank you. 5,000 people showed up to help clean up the rivers and empty lots in around Fort Wayne. They took up tons of material out of our out of our rivers and lakes. Congratulations! Thank yes. you very much. We really appreciate all that effort. And please allow me to uh, add to that that you know when you're when you're out driving around in your cars and you throw things out the window, 
and you think you're throwing them away, but really there is no away. So we kind of have to just, instead of thinking about throwing things away, we just need to be careful where we put them. Very yes. good. Yes. Good message. Very good message. Bring your daughter out. We're going to get to see her. Johnny Extreme, bring your little daughter out there. She was out on the show. Thank you. And Cadence, thank you very much. It's the end of the show. We'll see you next time on the Uncle Ducky Show. Good night, everybody. Yay!